Oh, we got the 2022 up on the lift behind me, and uh, I'm gonna start digging into her, change some things up on it a bit, and make it suit my needs just a little bit more. So, I got a pile of stuff that we're gonna be putting on this bike, and uh, I'm gonna get as much done as I can today and in this video. So, to start, we're going to put on the Happy Trails SU racks uh, from Happy Trails along with the Tusk soft bags, which I ordered from 3D Cycle Parts. All right, let's go ahead and start by taking off our side cases. Now, the reason I'm switching from the factory OEM side cases, uh, I thought that they were going to be enough size, you know, a decent size for me to pack gear into, but that first trip that I took, uh, definitely come to realize that these are just a little bit too small. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit bigger uh, soft cases on there. So here we got our three mounting points for the factory uh, saddle or side case mount. Um, it kind of just clips on and clips into this thing and that's what holds it all together. So you got these three mounting points here, which hold that, but it does not leave very good crash protection uh, when you're off road, if you drop the bike or anything like that. So that is another reason why changing these out would be a good idea for me. So, because I do drop this thing and I've already dropped it once, as you can see on that one side case, got some scratches on it, but it's KLR. So what can you do? So I'm gonna go ahead and take these three bolts out and hopefully I don't have to take the seat off to get to a nut or something on the back side of this. Uh, we'll see what happens. Of course there's a bolt on the back side of that. That's a 12 millimeter on the back side here. Probably should have left those bolts in the top so it wouldn't fall on me. That's all right. Okay. And there you have it. Not too terrible. All right, so we got the new SU rack here. Uh, the factory mounting points on the top are here and here, which are the same. Now, they did move the mounting bracket from the foot peg, passenger foot peg, up here to the top of the passenger foot peg mount. Um, I think the reasoning for that is so you have a little bit more clearance down here uh, and it just makes everything nice and flush and nothing will stick out and grab. Uh, everything is mounted tight to the bike. So I had to remove that top passenger peg foot. Dang. Well, I can tell you one thing, Kawasaki has definitely learned about bolts vibrating loose on these things because this one feels like it's got Loctite in it, as well as this one on the bottom had Loctite on it. So, get that taken out. Yep, look at that red Loctite. Thank you, Kawasaki. All right, so let's go ahead and put a little bit of Loctite on each of these and go ahead and put these on. So we'll start with this bottom one. And I'm just gonna leave all this finger tight for now.
and leave it loose so it will slide back and forth for when you put the bumper on. All right, so here's an up close look of the three mounting points. And like they said, it is tucked up a lot higher, so that way you have a little bit more clearance. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock this side out real quick and then we'll take a look when we get the bumper on. Alright, next we just got to put on the little bumper. Alright, so now that we got the bumper installed on there and somewhat tightened up and it's centered, uh, how they want you to tighten this up is to tighten up this center bolt, then the foot peg and then the rear. Um, why that is, I'm not really sure, but they say to do it, so that's what I'm doing. Just making sure that it's, uh, everything's nice and centered and even and all that good jazz. So, and I'm not completely tightening them all the way up just yet. I'm still going back and forth and slightly adjusting as I'm going around the bike and tightening everything up. And I'll do the same thing with the right side of the bike. All right, so there we have it. The Happy Trails SU Racks on the 2022 KLR650. I do gotta say the build quality on these is pretty, pretty good. Um, everything's nice, the powder coating's nice, everything looks really well made. Um, the only gripe I would have is saying those washers not being in there, um, but other than that I'm happy with them. Uh, it took them a while for them to get here, but I'm pretty sure as production ramps up and they start getting more materials and stuff like that, um, they'll be able to get all that stuff out to us a lot quicker. Um, but so let's go ahead and get to the new side cases that I chose. All right, so here we go with the Tusk. Uh, I forget which ones these are called, but I'll put a link down in the description uh, for 3D cycle parts because this guy is uh, a really good guy. I, I like dealing with this company a lot. Uh, he's quick with his stuff. Um, if it's on his website and it's in stock, when you order it, within the next day, it seems like it's shipped out. So definitely worth giving 3D Cycle Parts a look-see at um, I've used him for a lot of different stuff on my previous generation KLRs and I've never had an issue with them. Uh, love this company. We got the Tusk Pilot Pannier on here. I got the two straps with both bags on the bike. So I'm gonna go ahead and install these to the Happy Trails rack. So let's go ahead and take this one out. Come through our Bring it all the way out of all these. 
come out of the loop back here. Then go through our pannier hole, pannier rack hole. Back through that one. This one. through our center downer. <laughs> Leave that a little loose for now. And then we'll go ahead and do the other one. We'll do the same thing on the other side. I'll go back through and tuck all these in and make sure there's no flappy dappies on her. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the seat so I can take this strap and run it underneath the seat because I do have a passenger on the back of this thing sometimes and I don't think she wants to sit on that buckle. So go ahead and just run it underneath the seat and then I'll leave the back one on top over the toolkit which might be a little bit annoying to have to do and undo to get the toolkit but that doesn't bother me. Yeah, see I'm hitting on those rubber mounts for the seat, so push them behind me. There we go. And I get my bolts back in. So just behind the rubber mounts of the seat. Nice and I can still get a hold of my grab rail if I have to pick it back up. Because I drop it occasionally. So I'm happy with that. That might be a pain to have to take the seat off to get the bags off, but I'm okay with that because I'm just going to leave the bags on most of the time anyways. All right, so now we got everything mounted up and taken care of. Now, one thing that is kind of a bummer with these bags, these are not uh, watertight bags. So you will have to, but with them not being watertight, they come with the dry bags which makes everything stay dry. So, tusk. So yeah, that's uh, everything for the Happy Trails SU racks with the Tusk Soft Pilot panniers.
So that's going to go ahead and conclude today's video. And uh, we'll sit down and talk for a second. Right. Yeah, let me put some light so I don't have these dark bags under my eyes. There, that's a little better. All right, so there we have it. The tusk, uh, the, the tusk panniers, and the Happy Trails um, SU racks. Um, the reason why I went with the SU racks is because later on I can put the hard bags on there. Um, so that is the goal for now. I'm just gonna rock these soft bags. Uh, I like the soft bags a little bit better. They are definitely bigger. I could fit more in them than the factory hard plastic panniers that they had. Um, so I'm super happy with this. I wanna thank you guys for following along with this. There's definitely gonna be more to come on this build. Um, I got some more stuff I'm gonna install. I'm gonna end this video because this one is gonna get a little long. So I'm gonna do it in sections and series. Uh, the 2022 KLR 650 build. So uh, we got different grips, uh, mirrors. Um, what else I got? I got all kinds of stuff. Uh, tachometer. Uh, and there's still some more stuff I have to order such as exhaust and I think I'm going to go with the uh, Dynajet uh, tuner. So definitely want to be subscribed and following along. Click the notification bell. Make sure you're uh, getting those notifications when I put out a video if you guys want to follow along with this thing. Um, I did a vote on Facebook, which you guys wanted to see first. And I think like 12 of you voted on it and you all said that you wanted the uh, KLR video before the Jeep so I got this uh, tossed up in here and got that going um, but thank you guys and I uh, hope you all have a wonderful day Woo!